Hey everyone, you can now bind parameters to the filter exclusion list in a workbook. Let's look at this workbook. It has two canvases and both the canvases have dashboard filters and some common filter columns. Let's open up the city filter on canvas one. It's a list filter type and you can see that I've bound a parameter to the selection list of this filter type called city. Parameter is on the left hand side in the parameters navigator. And the same parameter is also bound to the city filter column on canvas two. By way of binding the same parameter, we achieve the pinning functionality. Any values that the user selects on the city filter is now passed on to the other city filter columns in canvas one by way of the parameter by turn on exclude mode for this list filter. Notice that the values now become part of the exclusion list and the table on the right hand side has basically refreshed to exclude these three cities and only include the cities that are on the left hand side. But this excluded values are not passed on to city on canvas two. And you can now do that by binding the exclude mode option on filters to its own parameter. So let's go ahead and create a parameter and turn on the exclude option. There's a parameter created on the left hand side in parameter navigator tab and the parameters of integer type, basically a Boolean parameter, the two values, zero indicating that the exclude mode is off and one indicating that the exclude mode is on. When the user checks on the exclude option in the parameter, then it indicates that the exclude mode for that filter is turned on. So let, let's go to canvas one and turn on the exclude option for this city filter and bind it to the same parameter that we created in the previous step. Now, as a result of binding a parameter to the exclude mode, any values that you select is part of the exclusion list. And this exclusion list is now passed on to the canvas to city filter as well. The exclude mode option is available for all filter types. Uh, let's open up ship mode, which is of list box type. And for a filter style that does not have a filter UX, the binding can be done from the property panel. So let's go to the property panel, expand on ship mode. And uh, the last two options that we have added is the parameter binding for the selection list and the parameter binding for the exclude mode. Thank you for watching this video.